YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and yes, those fine companies you just saw there sent me this amazing loot box to go along with Three Kingdoms Dynasty mode, which I will explain is a new game mode for Total War Three Kingdoms. But yeah, this is from uh, Intel, Logitech, CA, and Sega, so pretty excited to show you all what they sent me here. I got something similar back whenever they added the lab in Total War Warhammer 2. So it says, The Emperor, vested with the authority of heaven, has declared that all rebels and traitors to be put to the sword. He's charged you with marching on these brigands and defeating as many as you can. Do not relent. Go forth and conquer. Courtesy of the CA team here. Yes, I know, I skipped a paragraph. But, in any case, check out what was inside. Uh, some sweet Logitech peripherals here. A G513 Carbon and G502 mouse, along with an Intel Core i9-9900KF. So that is pretty much the fastest gaming processor out there right now, and I have that up in my computer here. So, I have powered up with the equipment that they've sent me here, and I do appreciate them sending it to me. It's an incredible gift, and extremely gracious of them. Um, obviously, I'm happy to show you this game mode regardless, but... I wanted to get some uh, visuals here of the stuff that they had sent me and give you all a quick rundown on the game mode. So, uh, very nice setup though that they've given me. This uh, Intel processor, CA is partnering with Intel to find ways to make sure they're using all the cores and threads capability, and they've been partnering with them for several Total War straight and Three Kingdoms is just a continuance of that. And obviously this game mode is meant to highlight the capabilities um, that are unearthed as Intel and CA continue to cooperate on improving how the game uses the hardware that they have. So it's pretty exciting, and there have been a lot of changes. Uh, Total War Three Kingdoms definitely uses a lot more processor cores than its predecessors, and it's pretty exciting. Here's a quick look at that uh, Logitech hardware they gave me. Uh, these Romer G key switches, very, very nice. Nice aluminum finish to it, and the G502, very sweet gaming mouse all kinds of adjustability and lots of buttons. So pretty much makes for the perfect setup. Well, and what setup is complete without the wanton slaughter of tons of warriors? So here we are in the game. This is the new dynasty mode. Now in dynasty mode, you pick three leaders. They can be earth, metal, fire, wood, or water. Earth are kind of all around. Metal is supposed to target singles. Fire is good at doing damage across a blob, basically wood supports the other ones and then water is a more specific support but very fragile in melee i pretty much find that fire fire and more fire is the best way to go though i will do a demonstration for you all here and i'm going to pick two fire characters and one wood so from the fire i'm going to pick lu bu because uh, who wouldn't pick lu bu in this i mean the guy is a human nuclear bomb so lu bu will be my first pick and then we're gonna get Zhang Fei and uh, Zheng Jian, or yeah, I'm probably gonna say it wrong, the Bandit Queen. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> and she has a healing ability that I wanna try out. Now, the way this game mode works, um, like I said here, I'm just picking the leaders, and you all will be able to see here momentarily that you can also scale up the troops, and it goes way, way up to almost 900 and something units or little individual models in a single unit. And that's that control over there on the right-hand side. There's three maps. So once you get all this selected, you go into the fight. And, I mean, it is extremely taxing on your system to do the 900-and-something men per unit. Now, I will show you this on stream tomorrow night. There's going to be a bit of a tournament, kind of, as much of a tournament as you can have in this game mode, put on by Creative Assembly. And the YouTuber who wins it gets to bring home some cool prizes for their community. So I will be out doing my best to get a high score. I've had a couple of good runs, and uh, it has to be on stream, though. So join my stream tomorrow night. It's going to be at 8.30, probably 8.15 to 8.30 U.S. Central Time, and I will make these attempts. So go to my channel. You'll be able to find that stream. I'll try and put a link in the description if I can, and I'll see if I can win you all some prizes. If not, don't worry. I'm about to give out a bunch of prizes anyway because we're almost to the 250,000 subscriber mark, so no big worries. Anyway, let's jump over into the battlefield, and I'll show you all what it looks like. Again, the loading screen, of course, you get a quick summary of all the abilities that your generals have. Basically, the top two abilities for each general is an insane, like, almost Warhammer-esque type of magical attack. Um, this really takes romance characters to the next level. It's a pretty cool intro here, too. The artwork in this game is absolutely beautiful. 
So you get to see your characters ready to face off with the first of 30 waves of enemies that just get continually more difficult. And every third wave, you face off against legendary leaders that also bring massive powers in. So if your general dies in the course of a wave, then they're dead. Or if you run out of time, which the time of the top is one hour. In between rounds, you get to uh, divvy out skill points to make your generals not just a little stronger, but a lot stronger. And the different skill points cost different, you know, the different skills cost different amounts of skill points. Um, I really like taking the fire characters and applying a whole bunch of splash damage effects to them because then they just get utterly ridiculous. And I'm going to go ahead and jump on over to this is wave 15 just to give you all an idea of what you're up against here. Um, this is going to be, you can see it on the map there, five different legendary characters and then all those little red squares in the mini map are large units. So at this point I've got like 400% splash damage, all kinds of other ridiculous stuff, healing on uh, Xingxian. Um, so we've got all kinds of stuff going on, but I mean it gets very challenging towards the end of it. You get a time bonus the quicker you finish each stage, and you do want to finish quickly. I've still kind of been working on some, some tips and tricks for how you get the most points out of it. Um, so anyway, I will show you more of this. We're going to do a live run. The game mode is fun. I played it on a stream already, uh, but once I got the loot box, which actually came after that stream, I wanted to make sure and cover it. Thank you so much to Intel, Logitech, and, um, and CA Sega. Really appreciate the way that they treat those of us who um, are making these videos for the Total War community. Um, some people are just going to call me a shill for this, but I'm trying to be grateful for a really awesome gift that they gave us. Um, and it's cool to see a new game mode like this. I think it's probably more so for their research purposes, so they can understand how to use the hardware going forward, but whatever, it gives us something fun to play. I don't think this is going to be a mode that drives insane longevity in this game, but it will give you a few hours of fun. And uh, it's exciting, it's free, and you get to give it a shot. So thank you to them for their generosity and sending this to not just to me, but there was a whole bunch of content creators who received it. It's a really good way to support their community that's out there supporting their games so we definitely appreciate it and I'm excited to show you more from this game mode anyway come back for the stream tomorrow you'll see my attempts you'll see whether or not we can hit number one on the leaderboard and see if I can bring you all home some prizes from this I will do my best to do it join me cheer me on and let's make that happen anyway Air of Carthage signing out I will see you all soon